remember the rather iconic episode of Top Gear where Jeremy Clarkson and James May drove all the way to the North Pole. And what they used was some very specialised trucks. Toyota Hiluxes, yes, tough as old boots, but modified by Arctic Trucks, an Icelandic truck specialist. They weren't so much pickup trucks, more giant Viking tanks. Now, Arctic Trucks are a very specialist company, but what they produce are some rather special vehicles. And for the first time ever, you can now waltz into a showroom and sign on the dotted line for a fully built, not a kit, ready to go Arctic truck. And they've paired up with Isuzu to do this. Now, the Isuzu D-Max pickup is not a small truck in the first place, but what Arctic Trucks have done is turn it into a monster truck. Huge flared arches shroud a widened track and a set of excessively capable Fox suspension. Gargantuan 35 inch tall tyres measuring 315 by 70 sit there as well. The overall height increase over the already large D Max is 125 millimetres. This thing is massive, it draws a lot of attention. As soon as you climb up and into the cabin, it is just it's, it's a character all of its own on the road. It's so imposing. This model is the double cab, which means it seats five with plenty of space in here. And also you've got that huge flatbed at the back to throw all of your gear in. Now sure, the interior isn't lavish, but it is more importantly rugged. It feels really well put together. Nothing's gonna fall off. And most of these surfaces look like you could actually just wipe all the mud off if any were to get onto the inside of the car. You can have a few luxuries such as these heated seats and climate control. Under the bonnet of this Arctic truck is a 2.5 litre turbocharged diesel engine producing 161 brake horsepower, which to be honest isn't a lot for a huge vehicle like this, but more importantly it also produces 400 pounds feet of torque, which when teamed with those massive tyres and the running gear in this car is more than enough to get you out of some sticky situations. So what is the D-Max AT35 Arctic truck like to drive on the road? Well, really intimidating actually. Oh, for everyone around it, not you. The driver is totally fine. It's actually really easy to drive. The steering is very, very light. It doesn't feel too cumbersome. Yes, of course, it's a big vehicle. It leans in the corners, but it just laughs at potholes, soaks them up no problem. And the only real issue is obviously maintaining enough space around you. But to be honest, people tend to make space for you in this vehicle. Our test car has a six-speed manual transmission. To be honest, it's a bit agricultural. You sort of have to throw it into gear a bit hard and it wobbles and shakes around. And there's a reasonable bit of engine noise that comes into the cabin. But to be honest, it's, it's a working vehicle, this. So you wouldn't expect anything less. It would be the same to criticize a Land Rover Defender for being uncouth. That and I get the idea that criticizing an Arctic truck isn't necessarily the best idea. I mean, your typical owner of one of these is probably someone you don't want to get in a fight with. I mean, yes, the steering could do with a bit more feel, and the ride does go a bit floaty as you go over compound bumps. But generally speaking, it's not much of a task to drive one. You know, parking is maybe a different issue, but with a bit of practice, you certainly get used to it. The tarmac is more of a holiday home for the Arctic truck, so maybe it's time we take it to a more natural environment, albeit without the snow. D-Max may be compromised on-road, it certainly isn't when it comes to going off-road. This thing is pretty much unstoppable, it has to be said. It absolutely dwarfs a Range Rover, and that means that it has ample ground clearance to climb up and over just about anything you please. It has a good wading depth, and that Fox suspension really comes into its own whenever it comes to dealing with really rutted, harsh terrain. This is actually Salisbury Plains where the military come to train some of their drivers when it comes to off-road driving. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty harsh environment whenever it comes to taking a vehicle that's designed to work on-road here. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you need a set of tank tracks to get about this place sometimes, particularly when it's boggy. As well as its sheer size and brute force from all that torque, 
the D-Max Arctic truck has a few more tricks up its sleeve, namely some selectable drive modes. So just down here, you've got rear wheel drive for road use, then you've got all wheel drive for when things start getting a little bit muddy, and then you've got low range for whenever you want to climb some steep inclines. Now it doesn't have anything as fancy as hill descent control or the like, but you do it all through engine braking. In that respect, it's quite an old school off-roader. So people who really like getting involved with their all-terrain vehicle this car certainly ticks that box. Today this truck has been through terrain that would break most SUVs quite badly, but it's just sort of shrugged and yawned and carried on. Why shouldn't it? It's designed to cope with Arctic terrain, one of the most harsh environments Mother Nature can throw at you, and to be honest, a bit of mud and some steep inclines and potholes and, and the like here, it's just, it's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ! In anything else, that would have just broken your spine. Thank you, Fox. You make some very good suspension. You can have one of these Arctic trucks from £31,499, which, to be honest, is relatively good value for how capable the equipment you have is. It might lag behind competitors in terms of on-road capability and refinement, but I don't think... I don't think anything could really touch it for its off-road capabilities. And also, it has just bags of character. What else do you know looks like this, other than something that you might send to the moon? It's a freaking monster truck, for God's sake. And I think for, for novelty and charm alone, it gets my approval, let alone the fact that it's just so fantastically capable of dealing with just about anything that the nature can throw at it. Thanks very much for watching, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews, visit www.insidelane.co.uk.